is out. Alright, so I took the nut out of here with my nut driver, threaded that off, got the nut and the washer out. Well, the washer's still on there. Yeah, these been heated up pretty good, so. And I know this might be a long video, guys, but uh, uh, I got to do it. If you really want to really learn to do them, I, 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 this is the best I can do. All right, so now, like I said, you're making it. You want to make a small hole here. And I'm on threading it back the other way till one side comes out. Either way, it don't matter. Further we got this. And I know one of you guys asked, how did you make them so they don't get too hot? Dude, I didn't. They they still get hot. The trick to not letting them get too hot is keep them moving. And if you're gonna stop for a second, turn them like this. Alright, so I unthreaded it till one side comes out. Now I can thread it the other way. Turn to the side a little bit where it's not going in the hole, and then the whole rod will unthread right out of there. That's what I'm saying about it. you just want to poke a teeny tiny hole on the inside that the rod will actually like you'll have to sit there and thread it through. And I know not everybody is is mechanically inclined. That's why I'm saying if you got any friends that work in the building trades, plumbers, electricians, carpenters, uh, you know even a tile guy could probably might have you know would have a screw gun and these tools on his truck. So, if you got any friends like that, I'm sure that'll help you. If not, you can reach out to me, and I'll do the best I can. So, there, that's that's just a ring, man. You can see the yellow there. That's just a yellow ring, and I put the duct tape on it, and uh, it protects it. And then it gets burned, it gets melted, it gets black every couple of weeks or a couple of months. You peel the tape off, you clean it up, and you put new tape on. And uh, I had another set that I didn't put the tape on, and I painted them all nice and beautiful. I was like, yeah, it's awesome. And and from not having the tape, I had burns and melts, and it, it they tweaked. So you really got to put something on there, man, hockey tape or something. So uh, I really recommend it. You could try it without, but I promise you're going to get melts in, in your ring. So anyway, here's what I have. Threaded rod, washer. Lock washer, another nut. So total you need one, two, three, four, five, six nuts, six lock washers, and six uh, small regular washers. And then you need two one inch washers. As you can see, these are kind of big. See how big they are? They're actually, you can use bigger ones. They should be the same size as the wick. When you wrap that around, the top of this washer will be right even with the wick. And it makes it look pretty professional. You can't even tell that there's a what's in the middle there. All right. So, I'm going to take the rest of this apart, though, to show you guys how, exactly how it works. Because you're going to have to do every little bit of this. And it does take a little bit of work, but like, you know, two and a half hours, I think, I, it took me to make them all. And I didn't really know exactly what I was doing. I didn't have a tutorial. I, you know, guessed and checked a couple times. And like I said, these are the second set that I made. I had thinner threaded rod that was lighter. But when I dropped them, they bent. It's just no good. And like I said, if you're a better juggler that thinks you could do seven of these without dropping that much, go for the eighth inch threaded rod. All right. That's why I say you got to have two of these. You need two pairs of pliers. You could use adjustable wrenches. I prefer these little blue channel locks. All right. So you see how I'm, I'm loosening up these washers. And yeah, my hands are going to be black. When you guys make yours, you'll have the uh, advantage of having all nice, clean threaded rod. But, I mean, you should be able to see what I'm doing here. All right. So, you got the piece of copper that slides in the middle. Oh, by the way, this threaded rod, you should buy a four-footer. Because these 14-inch rings, it's like 13 inches. Now, you can see this one, this is bent a little bit. Jared, I have a 100-watt bulb for here. Okay. All right. That's my grandma. Got a 100-watt bulb for the outside light she wants me to change. 
All right. Anyway, you guys see the deal. All right. Piece of half-inch copper. This is a 13-inch piece. You want to make it basically so it sticks in, you know, a nice half inch on each side because it's a one inch, one inch thick. So, you know, you want a half inch of threaded rod sticking in. You could shorten that up a little bit if you want, but try to have a nice uh, little bit of meat in there because it makes it easier getting that nut driver and the nuts and washers on there. All right. If you leave that 13 inch pieces by a four footer, because a three, a three footer is like just not enough. So buy a four foot piece of threaded rod. It's relatively cheap, man. I think uh, I think all this stuff only cost me like 16 bucks. But the, uh, the wicks, I forget what the wicks were. They were like 3 dollars a piece or something. And then the rings were 10 bucks a piece. I already had these, you know. So like I said, it's, it's not that expensive. So anyway, you cut your piece of copper. I already showed you that. You slide it on. You measure it. 13 inch piece. It's seven and a half or six and a half. And you get it as center as you can, and then you tighten up, tighten your nuts and washers back up. I got that nice little black mark, so I know exactly where they were. And this part too, when you tighten this up, you got to make sure, see how this piece of copper is going to move? Well, you got to kind of try to hold it in the center. You don't want it to be off. You want it to be pretty, pretty close. To be in, you know, dead center as you can. Like you'll pretty much be able to tell if it's crooked. All right. And then... Little plier on this side. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Plier on this side. Crank that baby down a little bit. Crank it kind of tight. You don't want to kill it, but you want it to be nice and tight. Where these lock these nuts and lock washers are not gonna come loose when you drop in front of an audience. That's the worst thing. I, I had seen a juggling magician, man. He had like wire wrapped around here and here, and then he had wire like with a wick like wrapped up like this. Like in the middle of it. It looked terrible. And and as he was juggling, dude, they were the wicks were falling off and he was like trying to put them back on. I'm like, oh, that must have been embarrassing. And uh, I was like, uh, I'm gonna figure something out, and this is this is what I came up with. So anyway, you start your piece of threaded rod, you measure it 13 inches, you take your hacksaw, you cut that baby. Nice and easy, you wanna, uh, you don't wanna booger the thread so you can thread these on nice and easy. So, and after you cut it, what you wanna do is take one of the bolts, and force it on right here. Force it on, make sure it goes on, take the little pliers and force it through. Make sure you can just thread it right on with your hand, nice and easy and thread it back off like three times. And then, You'll be good to try to take the nut driver in and just get it on there. That's, like I said, that's the hardest part. So, anyway, after you take your drill and you drill your big hole on the outside of the ring, all right? Remember, we discussed me measuring it, all right? And uh, what I did was basically held this there, and then I, I measured and just kept it, you know, I just got it as straight in the center as possible, man. You just got to figure it out. There's no really way to measure it. There's nothing square or straight to, to measure off of. You got here and here and here and here. And that's what I did with the tape measure. I put the tape measure across when I tighten this up. But, and now I got my little black marks. But you guys will figure out how to, you know, you got to get it center. So anyway, then if you drill your big holes, you take uh, what I did. I just took the Phillips head bit, I think, and just went like this. course I made little pencil marks so then you take the one piece of the threaded rod put it on the hole and start threading it in now here's the trick you thread it down further than you need to on the one side this way you could put on one of your washers then your lock washer okay see that then your bolt or you're not. Then, ah, uh, you know what? I missed a part. That's what I did wrong. So 
see, I gotta put nuts and lock washers this way too. And they're still there on the table. I didn't put them on. So, anyway, once you have this piece, you thread on one, you put one washer on, then the lock washer, then your nut. Quarter inch nut, quarter inch washer, quarter inch lock washer. The dude at the hardware store will, will pretty much know what you need. Again, other side, regular flat washer, lock washer, and I thread on a nut. Alright, then you take one end, start threading it into the little hole that you made on the inside of the ring, and it's going to thread all the way down right through, so you got to keep uh, moving these nuts up. You want to thread it all the way back on one side. Baby's frozen up. Once I hit the black spot, it didn't want to thread no more. All right, so pop it all the way up through. That'll make it nice and easy for you to put. See on the inside there, I think I just put a lock washer. Come here, buddy. Yeah, because the actual bigger washers, the flat ones, they didn't they didn't fit through the hole. And I did not, I don't want to make that hole any bigger than I have to, but it's got to be big enough for that nut driver. If you guys can figure out a way to get a nut and a washer through there with making a smaller hole, dude, let me know because I'd love to figure it out. So anyway, I thread it on until there's just a little bit sticking through. Pull it down. All right. Look at that. Put it on wrong. Opposite way, so you gotta pay attention to which way you're threading these on. I put the nut on the inside when the washer and the not lock washer should be that way. I did it right on the other side. Alright, so you put the nut on first. Then the lock washer, then the flat washer. And we'll pop it through the small hole. Mine just pops through because it's worn. So you guys should uh, be threading it through there. I'm doing this outside for better lighting. It's kind of hot, so. enough pop it through there on the inside you really only got to put a lock washer you don't have to get a, a, a flat one if you can and it fits through do it pretty much see what I'm doing here I'm uh gotta keep playing with these nuts gotta keep playing with the nuts mine don't want to thread cause there's dirt and soot in there so I gotta keep threading this nut down until I can push it far enough see how it's, it's hitting there on me so There we go. So, I got it inside. I pop it into your other small hole. And like I said, try to thread it in. Don't try to pierce it. Because uh, it'll be tight. Oh, look, I did it the wrong way again on both sides. 